Hello, in this video I'm going to uh, explain how to create a Dyer robot from scratch. It's a mobile robot, low-cost mobile robot, that actually I have an uh, online MOOC uh, explaining how to program an, uh, uh, this robot and also to design it. And uh, we're going to do that uh, in order to s obtain a, a robot simulation and then after that then we will have more uh, lab exercises uh, playing with this robot, okay? So, first thing uh, you need to know is that we have uh, a set of files in the video description that you can download in order to create the robot, okay? So, um, we are going to start by importing the robot uh, mesh files, so we can do that if we access on the file menu and then import mesh and then we have to look for the files. These are some of the files that I, I provide you. And let's start by importing the robot base, which is that one. And whenever you import a, a mesh, in this case, because of the uh, some scaling issues, we need to, they, they were in millimeters and, uh, and here accepts meters, so we need to uh, use this scaling here, I also recommend to select Z as the up vector and then we click import and here we have, if we zoom it like that, yeah, here we have robot base, okay, of the robot. So, this is uh, something uh, that we uh, have just imported, uh, we can put here a name called base for instance, okay, and we can do the same with uh, more files, you will see easily how quick we can have the aspect of a robot. And uh, let's import the front. Again, this is 0 0.001 and Z there. Okay. And this is another one, so the, that will be front. And we can also import, for instance, Let's just do a few more, okay? Uh, let's import uh, the wheels, so it will be the left wheel, for instance. Yeah, there, and so on, okay? So we can uh, just by importing the uh, appropriate uh, um, meshes uh, to our simulation, we will have the robot with a given aspect. But this is uh, still not a robot, okay? There are a lot of steps we, we, we need to do in order to uh, have a proper robot simulation. Okay, so uh, just uh, before, uh, in this step, what I want you to do is, uh, I want you to access all and import all the shapes and adjust the color to whatever color you want. This is something we saw before. So you can uh, just simply uh, adjust it something like that, for instance, uh, whatever, uh, whatever color you want, okay? And uh, this is something you, you have to do with any uh, component you have, for instance, wheels are usually black. Here, so we have this, this, and this, and so on, okay? And there's one special component, yeah? All these things are meshes, but there's one special component which was, uh, or that included um, more uh, advanced things, that it is indeed a model. A model is indeed a collection of objects that has been created already with VREP, so this model it's uh, related with the LED matrix, as you, you can see here, this is the one I'm providing you, and this is the model, and the model, you will see that indeed it's a collection as a set of objects and it also has a code attached to it, okay? I did that, uh, yeah, let's just shift the, the, the f this is the front, let's properly set the X component, yeah, there, now it's centered, okay, yeah, this is the model and uh, the idea of this LED matrix is that uh, it was a complex object to create for you, so that's why I create this model and I'm giving it to you. And just to mention that this is still not a robot, this is just, or it will have, once you end this step, 
the shape or the aspect of a robot. Okay? So in further steps we will actually provide a proper hierarchy, proper objects to pro, uh, implement the dynamics, the collisions and sensors and so on. Okay, so I hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you very much.